Hello and welcome to today's video tutorial. Today I'm going to be using the Best Friends Forever stamp set and I'm going to start with stamping the big flourish on there and I'm going to stamp it onto a piece of Whisper White that's going to be four inches by five and a quarter inches and I'm stamping in Lucky Limeade ink. So I'm going to stamp this right across the bottom. And then I've got a piece of Whisper White and this is going to just be a scratch piece but I'm going to be doing the Best Friends Forever, the BFF, also in that Lucky Limeade. Okay, then I'm going to close up that ink pad and we're going to start with our punching. So I've got the decorative label punch. I'm going to slide this in. And then I also use the decorative label punch to punch out a piece of Concord Crush and I just cut it in half. So those are going to be one element for our card. The next thing we're going to do is take a piece of Lucky Limeade and this is going to be 4 and 1 8 by 5 and 3 8 and this will go on the front of our card. So the front, the base of our card is going to be Whisper White. It's going to be four and a half by eleven inches, and I've scored it at five and a half inches. All right. For our next step, we're going to be using the top note die, and I've used it with the Melon Mambo cardstock as well as the first edition newsprint. And on the first edition, I went through and I tore on the perforated edges. So I'm just going to put some snail on the back of it and layer it on top. And I left a little bit of the Melon Mambo at the top. There we go. And then you just want to take your scissors and trim it all the way across. Ta-da! So there is our die. The next thing that we're going to do is take a piece of Whisper White and I ran it through the lace ribbon border punch. I'm going to use some liquid glue on it. This is going to go across the top of our card. And on this, I don't put glue everywhere. I just pick some key areas and dab it on there. Okay. Then we can flip this over and put it all the way across from one end to the other. Then I'm going to use that top note and put it over towards the right hand side of our card. The best friends forever. I'm going to put adhesive across the top and across the bottom and pick up the edges of that border punch, the one I cut in half, or I turned it into a border punch. It was a label punch and we're making it kind of a border punch. And these are going to get dimensionals on these layers here. And this is going to go right about there. You're going to kind of play around with the spacing. Put it however you would like. Now, I didn't like having this rough edge here, so let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some of the Concord Crush Ribbon. I'm just going to put it right across the top of that card. We're going to use some more liquid glue because it's right there. And the liquid glue works really well with your ribbon. So, that is the base for our card. Now we need to embellish it a little bit. So next I did some die cutting and I used the Fun Flowers die and I ran it through a Concord Crush Lucky Limeade and the Melon Mambo. And then I went through and I dry embossed each. So I did the elegant lines on the Concord Crush, then I did the square lattice on the Lucky Limeade and the perfect polka dots on the Melon Mambo. So these are just going to get layered together. I'm going to use some dimensionals to do that. I'm going to offset this. And then use a couple more dimensionals here on this Melon Mambo. Put that on like so. Then I'm going to use even more dimensionals. And that will be for the back of our flower. And we'll just layer it on the front of our card. Now at this point, if you need to scoot your words over a bit, by all means, take the opportunity to do that. Let's see here. Is 
So there we go. Then I took one of the neutrals buttons and I cut a very skinny strip of the Concord Crush cardstock and ran it through and just wound it up real tight with a neutrals button. And I'm just going to put this right into the center of our card. So there's the front of our card. Now let's do the inside. So I'm going to take this piece that we stamped earlier and this is a piece of Lucky Limeade that's going to be 4 and 1 8 by 5 and 3 8 I'm just going to put the Whisper White on top that we used earlier, or that we stamped earlier. And then some snail action on the inside of our card. And just like that, you've got a very cute, bright colored friend card.